The importance of fenders on a vehicle. There are probably some components to the car you drive that you really don't pay attention to. For example, do you think the fenders are placed on the car just to make it look good? It actually started out that fenders were a way to boost a person up and over into a truck bed in the really old days. But then the design came to be for a more practical reason that could save the life of a person traveling inside the car. Since the fender has a significant reason to be on your car or truck, it's important to take care of it, even though it seems like a silly thing to do. Why have fenders on a car? Think about the design of the fender on the back and the front width of your car. If you know anything about physics, you'll understand why the device is now included on cars for safety reasons. If you were to get in an accident and get hit from the front or the back, the fender will absorb some of the impact and send it outwards instead of channeling it forward. The fender will displace the energy coming at you and send it out with the hopes that you and your occupants in the car won't be as jarred or as hurt. The fenders might not be able to eliminate all of the impact, especially in a high-speed one, but they can deflect at least a portion of it in an effort to keep you safe. Keep the fenders in place. Since the fenders do an important job to keep you safe, it's vital to keep them on the car or truck at all times. How many vehicles have you seen traveling down the road where they're missing the front or back fender or at least a big chunk of it? Probably a few times, because the person might not have been able to afford the repair job if they didn't have collision coverage with their insurance, or they couldn't find the appropriate one to match the vehicle if it was an older maker model. However, not fixing the fender can be a big mistake that can cost you a lot more than just money. Fixing a fender on a car or truck Fixing a fender on a car or a truck is easy to do in most cases. For older vehicles, it might mean a trip to the junkyard to find one that matches your make and model. Attach the fender and you're good to go. For newer cars, the fenders are just being built into the back end design and might require a whole panel in order to replace it. Newer cars might be more expensive to replace when it comes to fenders, but not having one in place when or if you get hit again could lead to even more damage or an injury. Get the fender back on your car as soon as possible so that there aren't any accidents happening or any injuries to your loved ones inside the vehicle.